Hey, welcome back to BitGrid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can record a 16 by nine aspect ratio on the iPad. This is absolutely free and there are two steps to the process. One is screen recording, that's natively done on the iPad. And then secondly, we're gonna download iMovies. Now iMovies is free, so let's go ahead and show you how to do this. So step one, I'm gonna to go to settings and just go to the control center here. And if you scroll down, you should see here's um, screen recorded. Now you may not have screen recording, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. If I scroll down here to more controls, then you can see, oh, where's screen recording? There it is, screen recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my control center. So my included controls are here. That's step one. This is what you're gonna do. I'm gonna open up an application. So for me, I'm just gonna open up, I'm gonna be recording uh, something on pages. Uh, by the way, iWorks, Pages um, and Keynote are free. You can go ahead and download these numbers, Pages and Keynote are free for your iPad. Uh, and I use them quite frequently. Start screen recording. This is the application I'm gonna record. I'm gonna pull down from the control center here and I'm gonna press on this button here. Now I've already started my screen recording to make this tutorial. So you're gonna press on this button, long press it so you can get the audio as well. Now I'm recording separate audio here. However, long press it and you'll get to record the mic. So here we go, I've started recording. Now in my tutorial, as I'm doing this, what's happening is the iPad is gonna, and every iPad for that matter, is gonna record in a four by three aspect ratio. It's like this almost square one by one, it's a four by three as aspect ratio. In my tutorial, I want to send this treasure hunt percentages increase decrease um, worksheet to a colleague, but I wanna showcase a few things. So what I wanna do is I just wanna edit some of these features. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight instructions, I'm gonna to go to um, format, and I wanna change this to a title. Uh, you can see like I'm just pretending to make a tutorial here. And then when I go down to this part here, in fact, let me just highlight this bonus. And now instead of going to format on the top, at the bottom, I can, I've got some formatting tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and press on uh, bold here. Maybe I'm gonna underline it. So I'm making use of the real estate, the screen, the top, part, the um, toolbar at the top, and also this shortcut bar at the bottom. Let's say I'm done now, I'm happy with this tutorial, I wanna go ahead and send it to a friend. Now, the issue is, if I send this as it is, it's gonna create letterboxing, okay? Letterboxing is basically these black bars on the sides or along the top, and that's because most videos on YouTube or online are 16 by nine. They fill the screen of a normal laptop. Okay, it's 16 by nine. That's the general sort of aspect ratio for videos. So I wanna make sure that I maximize my real estate as well on the computer or on YouTube. So I wanna create this at 16 by nine. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and stop recording this. Let's go ahead and just, yeah, I wanna stop my recording. Screen recording, stop your screen recording, yep. That screen recording is saved in my photo gallery. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you. Here we go. I've got a five minute tutorial screen recording uh, saved on your photos. Step two of the process is go ahead and open up iMovies. We're gonna edit our screen recording in iMovies. Now, if you don't have iMovies, that's okay. You can go ahead and download it from the App Store. It's absolutely free. So I'm gonna go ahead and find my iMovie and we're gonna create a new project. So let's go ahead and press on add. It's gonna be a video, uh, sorry, a movie. And let's go ahead and create the movie. So at the bottom, I'm gonna create movie. Okay, here we are. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and find that tutorial, that screen recording that I took a moment ago. So I've got to my videos, go to recent, and I think it should be this one here. If you're not sure, just go ahead and play it. You can see what's going on. Yeah, that's the one I'm gonna go ahead and add it. And so it adds the, the tutorial to your timeline. You'll notice that we have letterboxing on the sides. That's because the native application screen recording records in a four by three. The screen of the iPad is four by three. The screen of every iPad is four by three. So you have this letterboxing. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on my timeline and I'm gonna split this. I don't need the first part. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Okay, so I'm left with my tutorial here. Here's what I wanna do. I want to zoom in because iMovie is gonna export the video as a 16 by nine project, okay? By default, it's a 16 by nine project. So you don't have control over that. It's 16 by nine by default. What we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in to our four by three to maximize our real estate so there's no letterboxing on the sides. So check this out. In portions of the video, I was focusing on the top part 
on the toolbar and at some parts of the video I was focusing on the bottom because I wanted to use you know all of that information okay now since we don't need any more media I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cost, cross that out so I'll get a bigger screen here now remember in my tutorial I had the first part that I was focused on the top okay so what I'm gonna do is up until that part I'm gonna click on my video and I'm gonna split this okay I'm gonna go ahead and split so now I've got two parts of my video I've got my first part and I've got my second part. Now my first part, I was focused on the toolbar. So I don't need these, uh, the letter boxings, and I don't need information at the bottom of the screen either. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on it, and then this tiny little magnifying glass with a plus, I'm gonna click on that, and now I can pinch to zoom. So I'm gonna pinch here to zoom, and I'm gonna make sure it fills the screen so you can see all of the top. So as we, as we go through that tutorial now, look at this. It's, made, it's zoomed into a 16 by nine aspect ratio and I'm using the full real estate of the screen. So when I export this video, it's gonna be complete 16 by nine. And of course, there's information down here of my original recording that I don't really need right now because I'm gonna be focusing on the top part. So as I play the tutorial, you'll see in the video now, I'm gonna highlight instructions and then I'm gonna click on format and then my viewers can see all of this information here. I click on title and that's done. Now for the second part, I wanna focus on the bottom half of the screen because that's where I use that little toolbar at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and scrub through. You can see here, I'm gonna be highlighting this part. So what I'll do is click on this, click on my zoom button, and then I'm gonna to pinch to zoom so that I've got the information from the bottom of the screen. So here we go, that's my 16 by nine. And I've completely got rid of the letterboxing and I've filled up my screen, I've filled up my real estate of my screen so that I've got everything, all the information that I need apart from the top part. I don't need that top part. Now look at this. If I just trim this down a little bit, here we go. We've got a full screen. First part I'm showing the top, the instructions using the format bar and then I'm coming down here and I'm using um, this quick access bar here to bold and underline. So I'm gonna share this tutorial. Now I'm gonna click on done and then I'm gonna go ahead and share this and I'm gonna save the video. And once I save this video, it's gonna start exporting that movie into my camera roll, okay, or the photos gallery. So this is exporting the movie. Once that's done, it would say, the movie has been exported to your photo library. So I'm gonna go ahead and press okay. Let's jump over to the photo library. Here we go. And this one minute tutorial, here we go. Look at it, it's perfect now because there's no letterboxing. When I upload this to YouTube, there'll be no letterboxing and it's a complete 16 by nine aspect ratio. This way you don't lose any information because you're not compressing the video file. You're using the information that you've recorded, the complete screen, and you're basically moving the screen up and down. You're zooming into the information effectively so that your viewers can see the parts of the screen that you want to showcase. So I've kept a 16 by 9 aspect ratio by using iMovies. Go ahead and try this for yourself if you're creating tutorials where you're doing a screen recording for your iPad. As always, thank you for watching. If you found that helpful, drop a like and I'll see you in the next one.